Hey YouTube, this is a quick video on how to disable the uh, double tap on off feature on LG G3, G4, and Joy apparently. Um, what you're going to want to do is get this app called Activity Launcher. Uh, let's go to Google Play. It's a Google Play app. Activity Launcher. It does just look like the default Android guy. It doesn't have its own logo, but it's a very small app. And uh, once you do that, go ahead and open it. And uh, basically it'll open up these and then you just want to click on Recent Activities and click on All Activities. This is going to scan your device for every possible activity and setting on it. So it'll take a minute depending on how many apps you have on your phone. And then you're going to want to scroll down to settings. And basically what LG did was they put this feature in the original settings, but they sent out updates that removed this feature from the phone settings. But instead of like removing it from the OS, it just basically hid the setting. So once you're in the settings, just click on it and it'll do a huge drop down menu of all these different settings you can go into. And most of them are available. I've kind of messed with most of them and all of them are pretty much actually already there. So, But anyway, you're going to want to scroll down to knock on. Um, I just use the top one, but uh, you can use either of them. Now uh, you can click on it, and here, I mean, it's got a nice picture display and everything of this hidden setting. And you just check it on or off. Now if you want quick access for this, oh, click and hold it, and then do create shortcut. Now, if you go to your home screen, the setting is right there, and you can put it into a folder or whatever you want. So, yeah, I don't know why LG insisted on hiding the app, but or hiding the setting, but this is a really good way to get it rolling on here again if you can't stand LG's double tap feature, which I can't because it wakes up in my pocket all the time, and I'm a heavy user on my phone. As you can see, I've got a live wallpaper and all kinds of things running on it. Uh, I have an extended battery on this thing. So that's why I have such a good battery, but yeah, basically I, I hate how it drains my battery. I have my brightness up all the time, 80%, and it burns my leg when the thing wakes up on its own. So I hate the knock-on feature. Besides that, I think the LG G3 is probably still the best phone in existence. Uh, I have an upgrade, honestly, and I haven't even used it, just because the only thing I would maybe upgrade to is a V10. But none of the new phones that are out right now really interest me, so... Just because the battery life mostly on them is horrible, so... Feel free to leave questions and whatnot, but that's the easy way. Um, this works on the... This also works on the Verizon one, I should probably mention. Um, I know all the other G3s, they had hidden admin menus you could get into. The Verizon one does not. Um, this one does, this is on a Verizon LG G3 that does not have the admin menus available that has that. Verizon basically locked them out. So this is a quick way to do it on any LG, no matter what your provider is.